Welcome back to Dirt 5. Today, we're jumping into the Dirt 5 career mode for the very first time. You may remember a couple of months ago, I showcased some Dirt 5 Playgrounds gameplay thanks to our friends over at Codemasters, and today, we're doing the same thing. Mega props to our friends over at Codemasters for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out Dirt 5 for yourself, click the link in my description. It comes out on November 6th for the Xbox One, PS4, PC, Stadia, and even the Xbox Series X. Without further ado though, let's jump into Dirt 5. We're going to jump into a bunch of the game modes in today's video, like the career mode, like the arcade. We've already gone and messed around a bunch with playgrounds before, and we are also gonna check out the Dirt 5 Carlis. Spoiler alert, there is some insane stuff on there. Some stuff I never even knew existed. To start it off though, let's jump into the career mode. Right off the bat, we've got all of our events that we're gonna be able to take part in. We've got throwdowns against some very cool people and sponsors that we can sign that will pay us money for completing races. Let's jump straight into the action though. Our first event is in modern rally cars. We've already got our Skoda, which fortunately for us is free. Because I wanna save up some money, we're not gonna purchase any of these cars. So let's jump in with this thing. So welcome to Norway for our very first event in Dirt 5. Now, I will be honest, I don't actually know what difficulty we're on. I don't know what assists I've got on, so we'll need to adjust all of that stuff for our second event. But right off the bat, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see there's some objectives that we've got to do during our race. Right off the bat, we've got to drift and overtake somebody. We've got to achieve first position for 10 seconds and exceed 70 miles an hour for five seconds, that is. So there we go. Just like that, our first one done. Let's also hold first position for 10 seconds. I think we're definitely gonna need to change up the difficulty. And then we've also got to go for a drift overtake. So let's slow it down and see if we can slide it past some of these guys. Yo, we're already going up to lap number two. Don't ask me what happened to my trunk, by the way. Somebody crashed into me. I. I need to get this overtaken. Come on. Round the outside. Long way. No, man. I'm not fast enough. Here we go. Up the inside. That's a drift. That's got to be a drift. I did it. I did it. Okay, win. There is no way we are losing our first race in Dirt 5. Not a chance. And there we go. There's the finish line. Thank you very much. We get the P1. We bang out all of the objectives. I, I think it's safe to say we need to raise up the difficulty for our next race. A thank you very much on the podium with the flames. I would imagine I'm gonna get some pretty solid XP for that. There we go, already up to level two, I believe. And then we get some reputation. Thank you very much. We get all of those objectives. And we get a bunch, a bunch of money. We're up to 183,000 bucks. Jeez. And with our first event in the books, we now unlock these two new events. This is a rally raid event in modern rally cars. That could be pretty cool. Or we've got a land rush event. Okay, why don't we try that one? Let's also change that difficulty. Before we were on medium, let's go up to very hard. Let's push our limits of what's possible. Yo, look at our vehicles. We've got a bright blue Porsche McCann rally raid. That is so, so sick. Then we can come in here and we can customize this livery again. So I, I like my McCann's clean. Let's go with that. And I'm just going to say I love that blue paint that we had before. So let's keep that going. Then we can also come in here, modify our rim color as well. So you already know they got to be blacked out. Buckle up, cupcake. This is Land Rush. Thanks, Buttercup. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be gone already? I forgot that those two guys were in here. Hello? All righty. Well, let's see what we've got. We're on very hard difficulty now. We've got manual transmission and everything. There is not any more time for messing around. This is go time. There we go. Two overtakes done. And we've also done the 70 mile an hour challenge. The, the, the Porsche McCann's pretty quick. Not to mention the AI is also mega quick out here as well. 
I am going to need to hunker down and truly push hard if I'm going to want to win this one. The rain is cleared out now. Now we've just got to zoom through here. Come on. Yo, the AI just bullied him so hard right there. That was the guy in P4. That was not a nice move. Here we go. This is it. Finish line directly in front. This is a horsepower battle. The guy crashes in and we take P5. I mean, it's not exactly the result I was hoping for, but I'll take it. That's that's not bad. So we should get some pretty solid money. I mean, hey, we're, we're not going to get as much as the last event, but I'm not going to complain. P5, we're up to level three now, which is nice. We're getting even more reputation. We banged out all of those, all of those objectives as well. And we're over 200,000 bucks in the bank. With event number two out of the way, we can move on to our first stampede event. Now, I believe, yeah, we're going to be in the exact same car as we were last time. So this event, we're rocking up in Italy. And this is going to be, honestly, probably my favorite event type in the entire game. Yo, I forgot to check. What, were, what are my objectives? I've got to get tw uh, I've got to get two seconds of air time. Okay, I've got to exceed 60 miles an hour for five seconds. That should be e that's done. And I've got to drift and trade some paint. Okay, get through the AI. That is how you drift and trade some paint. Thank you. Oh, and the AI is all over the place. Send it up the inside around these corners. We're not doing bad. I'm telling you, we are way more versed for an event like this. Already up to P3. And we are zooming. Come on, little Porsche McCann. We have got to go, though. We've got to keep earning the money if we want to be able to afford some of those really, really cool cars. Thank you, AI, for taking the long way around. We go for a nice little inside. They go for a little switchback. Fair play. We're already closing in on the end of lap number one. Where am I going to go for airtime on this circuit? Oh, I have found where we're going to get some airtime. Thank you very much. That was only one second. We've got to do it on the next lap. There we go. Lap number one done. We're in P2. We're zooming. Come on. Push him out the way. Nope, missed him. Big jump on lap number two. Thank you very much. There is the airtime done. And thank you very much, Porsche McCann. We only needed a couple of races, and we are queued in now. We are taking down the AI on very hard difficulty. Keep the levels coming in. Thank you very much. The reputation continues to flow as well. We're up to rep level two now, by the looks of it, and rolling in the money. Anyways, though, for our next event, what do we want to do? We've got another land rush event. This time, what are we going to... Oh, okay. Or we've also got a rally raid event. It's in the same car. Okay. Okay. Well, if both events are going to be rocking the same car, I'm going to go for the land rush thing. 850 horsepower. This is what I'm talking about. So we've arrived in Greece with our very strange looking vehicle. Honestly, I have no idea what these things actually are. But all I know is they're super, super cool. Anyways, objectives for this one. Two overtakes. We've already banged that one out. Exceed 70 miles an hour. I could do that. If people didn't park it in front of me and then spin me out. It's all good. I can make this up. We got this. We've already got all of our objectives done. We are not down and out yet. We've got three laps of this circuit. Come on, green beast. Thing. Here we go, already coming to the end of lap number one, and the AI is all over the place, crashing into each other. I swear some guy just did a front flip there. That is going to be his race done. At least I'm not the only person who's running into issues on this circuit. That is good. We are up to P5. Anyways, thank you so much, AI, for being a bunch of spoons and crashing into one another. We are up to P1. And we are zooming. Here we go. Finish line directly in front. No. Yes. How close? How close was that? 
Are they gonna give me a breakdown? No, we tied! We tied! But we get the dub shout out! There we go! We level up again. Thank you very much. More reputation coming in. We are nailing these challenges. We're up over 250,000 bucks now. I think it's time we purchase a new vehicle. Now the question is gonna be, where do we race and what do we drive in? We've got a bunch of locations in this game. Brazil, China, Greece, Italy, Morocco. There's a lot of places in here. Maybe we head out to South Africa. Yo, there are some cool places here. Why don't we go to this place, Lion's Head? Now I wanna do it in pre-runners. We're gonna be racing in a heavy snowstorm. You'll love to see it. We're on very hard difficulty. Now, the pre-runners class is my favorite class in the game because we got my man Brad DeBerti. He's got the DeBerti F-150 in this game. You already know my love for Ford Raptors. I am so happy to see this thing. We've actually got two Raptors in this game, but that is not where the cool stuff ends. We've got a Cadillac Escalade pre-runner. How sick is that with a wide body? And that is not where the cool stuff stops. What is this? We go and spend 140 grand on this spaceship bubble car. We had to do it. This thing is insane. So welcome to our heavy snow race in this absurd look. It's electric. It only has one gear. No, this is so sick. Oh. Attempt number two in the spaceship mobile will go up this side. Thank you very much. Electric vehicle, instant torque. We got places to be, yo. This is like the easiest thing we've had to drive. No worries about gear shifting. We've just got to rip it through. Yo, there's a couple of other looking spaceship things. But I, I, I've truly never heard of it before. It's just super unique. Super interesting, super different. This Audi spaceship thing is truly something else. That is insane. I think my Audi is a little bit down on the horsepower when we're trying to get up an off-road path. It bogs down so... Can we pick up the pace? But why have we bought one of the slowest cars? Yo, we're not even gonna be able to get the dub on the competition. We bring it home in P2 in the Audi, AI, whatever it was. You can't win them all. We'll take it. It's a cool looking thing. I'll give you that. I paid the cool tax. We'll say that, okay? Anyways, with that massive waste of money out of the way, let's go back to the career mode. See if we can make a little bit more. We're back in the Skoda for this one. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Time to make back some of that money. We lost on the last one. Let's see what we've got. We've also got to change our gears this time. Objectives for this race, trading paint, two overtakes in 10 seconds, and 70 miles an hour. We're, we are so good at this game. Anyway, something I actually haven't mentioned just yet, all of these career races that we're doing right now, there's a really unique thing that Dirt 5 does that I absolutely love. The entire career mode in this game can be played in co-op with your friends on a couch with four player split screen. I don't know about you guys, but back in the day, I played a bunch of split screen games. So it's nice to see that Dirt 5 is keeping that alive with four player split screen. Yo, that's the end of lap number one already. Okay, we got to get a move on. This guy in P1 is actually mega quick right now. So we, we got to go, Mr. Skoda. Yo, the snow is coming in pretty hard now as the sun is starting to set in this race one of actually my personal favorite things with dirt 5 is the dynamic weather in this game i mean you saw a little bit of it when we were setting up our own race but you can choose how fast the time progresses what weather you're driving in the time of day and so on actually we might get a little bit lucky here the sun is continuing to set it's getting darker out here the headlights come on no 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 bottle no oh we were doing so well. We were having the perfect race and I bottled it when I was confused about where to go. 
I don't want to talk about that one. We didn't make any money back. I'm sorry, okay? Anyways, that's enough of this career mode. There is one more thing I want to go and do. Now, I would love to jump online and try out some of the party games that they have in here. Like, there's some seriously cool stuff, but unfortunately, because I'm playing this before the game actually comes out, nobody's online right now. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna jump into the playground section and we're gonna try out one Gymkhana map. Gymkhana in a Peugeot, you love to see it. Yo, this is the same track that I drove a little while ago. Anyways, let's put this little Peugeot to the test and see what it's got. Currently best score out there is 8,000 points. Hopefully we should be able to take that down as there's a massive four people on the leaderboard right now, but I gotta keep it clean, please. Come on, we've gotta go for some nice does. Get them going around the pole. Thank you very much. Get out of here, get out of here, keep going. Do I come up here now? What do I do? Oh, I'm gonna keep going. Yo, there's water splash every, I, no, no. I'm not gonna do it. I only scored six, drift, drift. <laughs> How'd I do? 7,000. No. Anyways, that is where we're gonna leave it for Dirt 5 today. Obviously, I've got a lot of work to do with my driving skill, but like I was saying, there's a bunch of seriously cool vehicles in here. If you guys do want to check out Dirt 5 for yourself, click the link in my description. That is your first look at Dirt 5 gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.